surprised when someone charge you for this keep that in mind so when you are a and you're hiring someone let's say a freelancer let's call it f i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it up in some work and believe okay the question is does videography include editing most time when people hire someone to record for them a video they assume that the person will edit the video and also for the price so let's say you are a you need uh, someone that record your wedding or someone that record your party or someone that go along with you and record you and then at the end of the day they create a video for you so the results that they want is this yeah most of the time they think okay when someone goes with you they will go with you record everything the recording is easy and they go home they edit it it costs a lot of time and then they deliver the whole project right and most of the time people think you know what i just pay you 50 dollar 50 euros doesn't matter let's let's call it a small uh, amount but what they realize is this costs time and editing costs also time you understand what i mean and editing includes let's say you need to edit the video and sometimes you need to have good computers for that if you don't have good computers for that it's going to take a long time let's say if you edit a video 4k video with an old mac it's going to take a long time to render keep that in mind so it costs time to render it costs time to play back all those things so you need expensive computer right or expensive laptop so you need um, expensive stuff so let's call this stuff yeah and the thing is you also need software when you have software software you need to pay for it now. let's say if you are using premiere or other software you need to pay per month or per year expensive software seriously so you need to pay for those things if someone is looking to get this someone can create this but this is a whole process yeah if you are starting first out and someone you say hey i want a fit three minute video or i want a five minute video or nine minute video if someone comes to you and they say okay let's say it's 50 or 500 those are normal normal numbers you understand what i mean because if you look at this question if you ask the question does videography include editing no you just pay the person here just to be with you to record them they need to take all the expensive stuff to record to get things and sometimes doing editing they made some um video they need to buy some stock photography or videography in order to put it in your um in your video because most of the time you cannot record everything on one location so this costs time this costs time and you also need to buy sometimes some video stock video to create the end product so don't be surprised when someone charge you for this keep that in mind so when you are a and you're hiring someone let's say a freelancer let's call it f and they let you sign a contract or they give you an offer it's important to look on in what's in the offer first thing which you need to look at okay what kind of services am i going to get is it only recording is it recording and editing is it recording editing and deliver the end product because most of the time the freelancer will say i will deliver this video but you do not know anything about it what the cost is for this it's important to know what is the services and how much you have to pay and the most important part is what is the copyright what people usually they always forget about that but what people usually forget is the copyright why i'm saying that is okay let's say you pay the freelancer you pay the money you got the video but you want to use the video to earn money from it right so you want to use the video on youtube or you want to use the video on a big screen yeah the thing is you don't have permission for that because you do not know what they say about the copyright you understand what i mean so what is important is when you look when you hire videography of some of our photography what do they say about the copyright 
some photographer or videographer will be like, you know what, I don't care, you just pay me, so uh, use it however you want, I don't care. But later when something goes wrong, they're gonna be like, hey, I don't agree with that. And you don't want that. So when you have the end result, what do you want to do it, with it? It's important to know, okay, what's in the copyright? Yeah, can I use it however I want? Can I use it for commercial use? All those things. And this, you can see, if you really want more example of this, this is something you can see on Fiverr a lot. And if you're on Fiverr, for example, um, you can see when you order something from a videographer, they tell you exactly sometimes what they're going to do. Sometimes they don't, but sometimes they are forced by Fiverr to tell you exactly what they're going to do. And you need to tell them also what the what happened with the copyright and fiverr is a little bit clear about copyright when you create something for your clients the copyright will goes to the client yeah because you sign an agreement with uh you do not sign it you agree with the terms of fiverr so technically you transfer but i'm not sure if it will holds up in every country in the copyright rules of in every country but how can you prevent this when you have a contract with someone look at the copyright ask question about it. say okay listen if i'm going to use this for that can I use it? If they say yes, say okay. Send me a confirmation. Send me a confirmation means send me an email where on email of put it on paper where you say, hey, you are allowed to use this for that. Why? When something goes wrong and they'll be like, I never said that, you'll be like, hey, I have an email where you give me permission. So you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. So most of the time people when they get in tr trouble when they pay the photographer but the photographer will be like hey i didn't say you're allowed to use this or the photographer will be like hey i didn't say you're allowed to use this fine example of this is um there was in the past someone paid a photographer to create picture yeah the photographer create picture the person wanted to use the pictures in magazine or for other things the photographer was like no you don't have permission for that. If you want permission, you have to pay me a lot more than what you paid me. You understand what I mean? And that's the problem with this. The person that asked this question is smart. Right? Does it include editing and what is editing? Yeah, but also look at the copyright. That's another thing that you also need to look at. So if you look at this, yeah, it's a good question. I understand what people ask it, but if you are in a situation like that, what you need to think about, okay, what are the rules about copyright? What do they say about the copyright in a contract? Because that's something that is really important and most people underestimate that. So if you have question about this, what you can do is just go in the law center, press the law center, and uh, you can ask me a question about it in the law center. And if you have some legal issue or there's something not right, and you'll be like, okay, you know what? Hey, I have i need help with this during the legal session you can ask me question about your problem and it's free legal advice if you want to go in there you can just press here you go to free legal advice if you find this information useful you'll be like okay hey i want to support you you see here you press here buy me coffee when you press buy me coffee you arrive on this page you arrive on this page you can support me by buying me one coffee three coffee five coffee and you can say something nice I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen